Hello guys, this is Peter here and you are watching another mission guide Grand Court of Sabaka this time. Very quick and not that difficult mission. It can be done in less than 4 minutes with the Meta Hero team. Takora is a must have, I gave her a Roy build, my own char has a Dagger Spam build and my hero team is pretty much the usual, except for one hero, Olias is an Order of Andes Minion Master. And I believe if you have Bonefins and an ST hero, this is kind of okay since these, these are ranged minions and won't get killed so frequently as other minions. Anyway, a minion master is very useful here, plenty of corpses to use and the minions can help uh, slowing down the blasphemy or those bound energy things that spawns once you kill him. Our task in a nutshell, capture the altar of Liza. This is probably the only difficult part because the Margonites will try to do the same as well. And if you don't stand somewhat close to the altar, the Margonites might capture it before you do and it means game over. But don't worry, this is not that difficult and once you have that, you must capture 3 additional torment rifts and the mission is completed. To make things harder, the blasphemy will respawn quite often but he dies fast. By the way, tip number 1, display your Lightbringer title, this can provide an extra 40% damage and some damage reduction as well. And I think this applies to all the later missions as well in Nightfall, so better have a max or almost max uh, Lightbringer title when you do this. So when you are ready, talk to Head Priest Vamani and start the mission. Don't rush to the center yet, we have plenty of time, the wounds is very easy, you just have to beat the mission in less than 12 minutes. So you can calmly stand here and pre some defensive spirits or splinter weapons, strength of thunder, etc. Uh, on your character. The enemy groups won't run to the altar unless you cross this line, but when you do cross it, you better flag all your heroes to the central spot to recapture the altar, but if you only start killing mobs instead, you might get there too late. And now simply kill all these patrolling groups one by one, and when you have defeated them all and only the stationary groups left, then the blasphemy will come. Alright, he is here, always try to kill him as soon as possible, he try to make the altar more tormented and also destroy the unbound energies. After that you can start capturing the torment rifts, any of the three, this is not a big deal to be honest, just check the blasphemy every now and then, uh, you know, because he will respawn after some time. Ok, only the torment claw left, kill it and start capturing. You might consider keeping a hero or two in this location and going for the other two rifts, this will save some time, or if you are lazy just wait a bit and the rift is yours. One of three captured, two left, let's go to the eastern rift now. I think it doesn't really matter which side you do first or last, the blasphemy will spawn randomly I guess. But if some of you guys know how the blasphemy spawns, let us know. Uh, anyway, let's do the next capturing thing, these Margos like to bow perfectly. Uh, that's it and all that. Now flag a hero or two again and quickly get the blasphemy. I think he runs much much faster in hard mode. Uh, I don't know but his activation time is like twice as fast. Never mind, we got him again and we can go for the last rift. Once the flagged heroes capture the previous one, unflag them, they will join us and let's kill the blasphemy one more time. That's it, you don't have to lower those red bars again, if you have captured them once that should be enough. And there is some waiting here, but after like 15 seconds or so the mission is done. Four minutes, one sec, I've done two runs actually. My other run was pure YOLO for uh, three minutes, 40 seconds, but I wanted to show you guys a bit of a risk-free run instead. So this was the Grand Court of Sabarka, good luck and see you in the next one.